channel and today I kind of have just a chit chat video that I wanted to sit down and film for you guys and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite beauty and lifestyle hacks as well as, I don't know, just some random things that I've been loving to do as of lately. So first let's start off with hair and as you can see I've dyed my hair and I've gone from like a balayage type of blonde to this nice purple burgundy color that I'm absolutely loving. I love the way it turned out. I was really scared and hesitant at first because I really loved my blonde and I got it done by the lovely Lady Shears and she did amazing work so I was really scared to just go over that but I jumped the gun and I'm totally glad I did because I love the way it comes out. I am feeling brand new and I'm really really love it and to do it I use this Garnier Nutrice uh, ultra intense burgundy for darker hair um, this is their like the ultra color line they have one for like reds and blondes and stuff like that and this is in the color dark intense burgundy and it's supposed to have like a intensity enhancing technology for darker hair and I went with this because I had I did have darker roots um, and like about half of my head was like my darker neck color and um, I thought that to have a more even color because I figured the blonde would take just about anything especially like a reddish color like this so I thought to have the most even color I would go for something that was meant for darker hair and this was perfect I grabbed two of these and I dyed my whole head and I think it came out pretty good um, it has rinsed out a little bit I washed it the day I put it on and then once after and I do get some color wash out from it so I think you know in a couple of weeks I might have to redo it just to keep this intense and dark color that I have going on here but I do really love the way this worked out and I recommend it if you're gonna go for this kind of color because it was awesome and I love the Nutrice line this is the best box um, dye that I've used personally I've tried ones from L'Oreal and stuff and these just always give me the best color results Keeping with hair products, um, I recently picked up these two products from Shea Moisture, and I love Shea Moisture. If you've seen my curly hair routine, I do use their curl enhancing smoothie, and that one is in like the peachy, orangey, corally packaging. Um, this is their Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil. They're, it's an intensive hydration conditioner, and I got the... Um, intensive hydration hair mask that goes along with it. I knew that my hair is pretty damaged from straightening it all the time. I can't help it. <laughs> and I knew that coloring it was also going to take a toll on my hair. So I wanted to get something that was going to revive it a little bit. And I picked these two up. I was initially going to go with the um, Jamaican Black Jamaican black castor oil I think it is um, and I, I was gonna go with that because Sunkissed Alba here on YouTube uses it and she really recommended it and I was gonna go for that but I saw this one and I don't know so for some reason the packaging kind of drew me to it and um, I don't know I just decided to go with this pairing instead and then the Jamaican black castor oil I only found like the hair mask that goes with it and not the conditioner um, I didn't pick up the shampoo because I intended this to use more so when I wanted my hair curly just to revive the moisture in my hair and when I and wearing my hair curly, I try not to use shampoo in it because I find, I just find that even shampoos that don't have like sulfates in it or whatever just dry out my hair and I get much better results from just using a conditioner. Now when I do have some buildup or I do feel like I need a deep cleaning, I will just use any old shampoo and give my um, scalp area a nice cleaning and then let it rinse down to the rest of my hair. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about skincare in this video too, and I thought I would share some recent finds. So, the first one is this Garnier Nourishing Cleansing Oil, and this is supposed to dissolve impurities and makeup and replenish your skin, and it's targeted for dry skin. Perfect. I have dry skin, and when I saw this, I was like, I just have to try it. Um, I do really like it, but it's not a product that you just use on your own to take off your makeup. You have to go in with something after you use this because it is an oil. So an oil will break down the makeup and will break down the makeup on your skin, but it will kind of ha leave you feeling like some 
kind of residue is left over so I like to go in with a cleanser afterwards so to put this on I just make sure that my hands and my skin is dry and I just rub it all over my face it takes off my mascara and eyeliner and brows and everything like a dream and then I go in and I rinse it off and I wipe everything down with a towel and then for more of a cleanse to my skin and just to really clean and get any extra makeup that was left over, I go in with this Garnier Clean Plus. This is their smoothing cream cleanser and this is also for dry skin and it has jojoba and macadamia oils in it. And this doesn't irritate my eyes. Um, before I found that oil that I showed you guys, I use this to take off my makeup and it worked really well and then I would just go in with like an exfoliator afterwards but I really 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 like this and again it's a cream cleanser so it's perfect for dry skin my skin doesn't feel like tight or dry after using it I really really like this stuff and this is actually empty I need to go out and purchase a new one ASAP next thing I wanted to talk to you girls about was chub rub and my favorite ways to prevent chub rub. So the first tip that I have for you guys, and this is what I first started out using when I was trying to find a way to prevent the rash between your legs that happen when your legs like rub together constantly. Um, I wanted to stop that from happening so I can wear my pretty skirts and my pretty dresses. So I went to Target and I picked this up after I did a little research. So this is the Monistat Shape Relieving Powder Gel. And this just helps your legs glide together smoothly. Um, this really did work, but the only thing that I didn't like about it was that I found that I had to constantly reapply it because um, if I sweat it or anything down there it would make it just like disappear so I found myself constantly having to reapply it and that was a little bit annoying so I wanted to find another solution and I went into Lane Bryant one day when they were having a sale on their bras and underwear and stuff and I discovered shapewear so I saw that it was like short and I went to go try it on and immediately I was like oh my god this doesn't fit but actually it's supposed to be like really constricting and I found that I really liked it because not only did it help prevent my thighs from rubbing together it also helped just kind of smooth everything out so if I had like a maxi dress that kind of clung to every little imperfection in my legs or in my booty any little dimple or anything that I had going on that I wasn't like you know super proud of or kind of insecure about it also helped smooth that out um, my main thing was to find a solution to prevent chub rub and it totally did that. Um, I used to wear shorts underneath my dresses and my skirts to try to prevent it but the only problem I had with that is that they would ride up and it was super annoying, almost as annoying as chub rub but not quite. And so the shapewear really helped in the sense that it didn't ride up. Sometimes on the rare occasion they will ride up on me and I don't know what the circumstances are when they do but sometimes they do but for the most part they don't and like I said they carry multiple benefits and that's my favorite way of preventing chub rub. Now the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was how to save money when you're shopping. Um, I think I mentioned this in one of my old videos but I'm a big coupon person and I grew up shopping on sale days and when we had like coupons and stuff whether that was food shopping clothes shopping whatever we always had a coupon at hand even if it was just a couple of cents or a couple of dollars that you were saving trust me every little bit counts and it adds up so when I'm out shopping what I tend to do especially if I'm not prepared or if it was just kind of like a spur of the moment shopping trip what I like to do when I'm in a certain store is go on my phone and search blank coupons or promo codes or something for in store and more often than not I'll find one and my favorite place to go to for that is retail me not just the other day I was in PacSun with my boyfriend and he was buying a couple of jeans and I just went on to PacSun I mean onto Google and I typed in PacSun coupons PacSun coupons and a 20% coupon popped up so I think he would only save about like four or five dollars off of his purchase 
but those four or five dollars could be used on lunch later on you know so I always always do that when I'm in a store or even if I'm preparing for a shopping trip I always try to see what kind of sales they have going on if they have any coupons that I can bring along with me just to kind of save me some money when I'm shopping because that's just how I'm used to doing things and I think you guys should really you know check that out if you want to save a dollar or two whenever you're shopping and I think that's it for this video those were just some random things that I wanted to share with you guys that I thought might be helpful some products that I was loving and I just really wanted to get on here and film a video for you guys because I just really want to be consistent and produce really great content for you guys to watch because I love you and you guys are amazing so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up if you did it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already to stay updated on all the videos that I post hopefully my next video will include some kind of fashion and style for you guys because I know that's what you guys are waiting for right <laughs> I love you guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video